Recently, I visited my 94-year-old grandma. She's Rosalind. And she had told my mother that I hadn't come to see her for a long time. In fact, I couldn't see her for a long time. Every time I thought of visiting her, some work would get in the way, so I couldn't do it. So, so she had complained to my mother that I hadn't seen her. Last week, I visited her, and I could see her face. Face was lit up with joy, and she had a big, bright smile on her face. And when I was so happy to see her, and I truly felt within myself, my presence made her day. My presence made her day. In fact, it made my day too. And what a grace filled day it was for me personally and for her. Dear friends, your presence is more important than presence. Your presence is more important than any present that you can give to someone. Why do I say like that? Imagine that you are given a latest iPhone or Samsung, and then you don't have anyone to talk to or chat with. Imagine you have the most luxurious home, and you have to live all alone. And you have the most beautiful, glamorous dress, and you don't have anywhere to go, no one to see it. And imagine you have the most expensive car in your life, but you don't have anyone to share that with. Your presence, our presence, brings meaning to the things around us. Gifts don't have value in themselves without a presence of someone. Now look at the touching story that we have in the Gospel today. Mary's visit to Elizabeth's house. Mary's visit made Elizabeth's day. Imagine the journey. It was a tiring journey from Nazareth to the hill country of Judah. Presently, this place is called Ain Karim. It's about 150 kilometers. Now, in those time, it would have taken around four days of a walk for a fit young woman to go from Nazareth to Kai Ain Karim. So imagine now the situation, the state of Mary. She is pregnant. So how that journey would have been for her emotionally and physically. Imagine that you are pregnant. You are asked to walk 150 kilometers. How that would be feeling for you and how difficult, tiresome, burdensome that journey would have been for Mary. But Mary made that visit. Mary's presence brought delight and joy to Elizabeth. Not only that, the baby in the womb of Elizabeth lived for joy. That's what we heard in the gospel today. Not only Mary's presence brought joy to Elizabeth, but also to the baby in her womb. Dear friends, we have come to the final week of season of Advent. And we are a few days away from celebrating Christmas. What have we done? What have we done? Was something special that we have done in our life to welcome Jesus into our lives? Dear friends, your presence is more important than presence. May I encourage every one of you to find some time to visit a person that you don't normally visit. I understand, given the circumstances today with the COVID restrictions, you can't visit every person. But can we at least make a call to a person that you don't normally call. But your presence is always the best. But when you cannot do it,
can we at least make a call to someone? Your presence is really, really, really important. It brings meaning, joy, and delight to the people whom you meet in your life. Dear friends, that is the best gift that we can give to someone. God has visited us. God has visited us 2,000 years ago. That's what we are going to celebrate in the next week. Not only God has visited us, but he has left us with his powerful presence. What is his name? Jesus is Emmanuel. God is with us. God is present in our lives. So as followers of Jesus, we are called to share that same presence with one another. Jesus invites every one of us here to make some sacrifices, to find some time to visit a person that you don't normally visit. I'm sure, and I believe in this, like the experience that I had with my grandma, your presence will bring delight and joy to someone and that will make that person's Christmas a memorable and a meaningful one. May God bless you.